Hey guys, so in the last video we started to create our Spring Boot application. We added two methods uh, where we were able to create books and get all of the books. Um, a quick demo, I guess, we have this post and um, localhost books. And this will create a book and then we're able to retrieve all of the books. So this is what we've done so far and it's hooked up to MongoDB on the back end. In this video, we're gonna finish out the CRUD functionality. Um, so we have to add a method to get by ID, a method to delete, and a method to update books. And by the way, uh, if you didn't see the last video, we're following these application layers. So we have our web layer, which is where our controller, our API controller is, our service layer, where business logic is carried out, even though we're not actually carrying out any business logic here. And we have our repository layer, where we're interacting with the database. It's also called the DAO layer. So even though this is a really simple project, it's always good to follow these good habits um, to have everything decoupled like this. So on that, let's get started. So we're gonna start off at the controller layer and we're gonna start off with our get by ID method. So to do that, we're gonna create our next method, which is gonna be get by ID. So public, uh, it's going to be optional actually um, because there may not be a book with the ID that you're trying to get. So get book by ID and inside here we're going to be getting a path variable and this path variable is going to be ID and it's an int ID and we're going to return book service dot get book by ID and we need to pass in the ID and to be able to use this path variable we have to add something up here uh, so we have to add our get mapping first of all but then we're going to add a value here uh, which is like this and inside here we'll put an ID and this is where this variable will come from so now that we're finished with the controller we need to implement this method on the service layer so similar as before we're just going to be returning book dao dot get book by id and we're going to pass in the id and now at the dao layer we need to also implement this method and spring provides us with something really useful here because we can use our repository here we can say return repository dot uh, find by id um, we're given all this, we don't need to implement it ourselves, which is really useful. Uh, so now if we save that, I think we have an end-to-end -end here. So we can restart our server and see if we're able to get the books by ID. So hopefully there's no errors. Everything looks good. I always like to check here that our root is correct. So we've mapped this method, um, this get method, um, with this root. Uh, onto here, uh, which returns a book. So let's try it out. So we have this book with this ID. So let's see if we can get it. And it works. So going back to all the books, we can choose to just get the book with the ID one. And that's what will be returned to us. So now that we've implemented get by ID, the next method we're gonna implement is delete. So heading back here to the controller layer again, it's gonna be quite similar. Um, so I guess we could just copy and paste this uh, and call it delete book by ID. I should be in the controller layer, but let's start here anyway. Um, so we don't wanna return this, instead we wanna say optional book. book equals repository dot find by id and if it's present so book dot if present we want to use b um an arrow thin arrow function um and we're going to say repository dot delete um, and we're going to delete this book b and the reason we stored it here instead of doing all this together is because we want to actually return it after so even though we've deleted it, we want to return it just to show that this is the book that was deleted. So we're kind of going the opposite way this time. 
Um, I think I'm going to go back to the controller and do it from here. So we're going to copy this. Um, instead of get mapping, it's going to be delete mapping. Uh, again, we need the value ID, and this is all going to be the same. Instead, we're going to use book service dot delete book by ID, and this method is going to be called delete book by ID. And now we just need to implement this method on the service layer. So heading over here, we can just call book do dot delete book by ID and pass in the ID. If we save that and restart our server. Um, we should be able to test out this method. So as you can see, because we have everything set up from the last video, this is really simple to just add these new methods, which is really nice. It's actually really satisfying um, to be able to develop like this when everything's set up with Spring. So now that that's running, uh, now we can check we have this delete method. So I guess we'll get all the books just to see what we have. And let's delete Harry Potter 3 is an ID of four, five, six. So deleting that, it returned it. And now if we do a get, uh, it won't be there. And if we do a get on them all, it also won't be there. So let's, let's delete them all except one. Uh, so we want to delete six and seven. and we get all the books and we can see that we just have one now. So the last method we need to implement is update and this is probably the trickiest out of them all. Um, but let's see how it goes. So again, we're gonna add here uh, another function. I'm just gonna copy the delete one because it's similar enough here at the API layer or the controller layer. And we're gonna do a put request. So put mapping value ID. Um, and here, as well as passing in the path variable ID, we also want to get the payload. So to do that, we're gonna say request body and we're gonna call it book update uh, payload. Book update payload. And the reason we need to do this is because this payload isn't gonna be of type book because it's not gonna contain an ID. Uh, the payload they're going to provide into update is just going to contain the title and the author of the book. It's not going to have the ID. They're sending the ID in the path, just as they were in this previous example. So there's some things we're going to have to do here. Um, so first of all, we're going to say update book by ID. But before we go into the service layer, uh, we're going to implement this. Um, book update payload. So it's going to be a new entity uh, called book update payload. And here we're just going to have two private variables and both strings. Uh, we need a title and we need the same thing, but just author. And we actually just need getters for these private variables. Uh, so let's generate some getters. So now that we have our getters, we can head back over to our controller layer and see if this has resolved this issue. Uh, we need to import it. And that has updated the entity. Uh, so now we need to implement this update book by ID at the service layer. And the service layer is probably the simplest because we don't have any business logic here. Um, but it's still nice to implement it. Uh, so this is going to be update book by ID. And we're going to be passing an ID. And did we actually, in the controller, we didn't pass it in. So we also need to pass in book update payload. Um, and we need to handle that in the service here. Uh, we're going to call it book update payload and book update payload. Cool. Uh, so now that we have this finished at the service layer, we just have one last thing to do, and that's the DAO layer. Here again, similar to delete, we're going to first of all try to get the book. Um, so we're going to find it by ID. But this time, we're not going to delete it if it's present. 
I'm going to say b dot set title, and this title is going to come from our book update payload dot get title, and this is why we just needed to implement the get methods. Um, and similar to this, we're going to update the author. Uh, it's going to be set author and get author. Cool. And then we're returning the book at the end. So let's see if all this has worked. Oh, there's one other thing we need to do. We need to actually save it. If present, uh, we need to say repository.save b. And this will save the book. Uh, so now if we restart this, we'll see if it works. So this is all going to be running now. We want to make sure that we have our put method here, which we do. Um, so first of all, we're going to post a book. Really imaginative here. And um, we're going to call it book one. And the author is going to be Simon. It's going to have an ID of two. So if we post this, it's going to create the book. Um, and now if we get the books, we can see that it's there with an ID of two. Uh, so now we're going to make a new tab here, and we're going to do a put request. Uh, again, we need to pass in some JSON, and it's going to put um, books two. So what we need to put in here is a title, um, new title, and an author, different author. Uh, I have absolutely no, no imagination. So let's try this out and see. Nice, clean sweep. So our response contained the new information, the new title and the new author. Um, and you can see we can't actually um, change the ID. So we couldn't do something like this. Um, add a comma. It won't actually change the ID. Um, which is what we want. We don't want people to be able to change the ID of these resources through the API, but they should be able to change these fields if they want to. So now if we do a get on all the books, we can see that the second book with an ID of two now has the new information. Um, so this is our complete CRUD functionality. We're able to create books, get all the books, get a book by an ID, delete a book, and update a book. And all of this information is being saved to MongoDB. So hopefully this helped you out. If there's any other videos you'd like to see to do with Spring Boot or anything else, please let me know in the comments. Uh, please subscribe, I'd really appreciate it as well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.